Hello! In this session, we will create a neon effect using a mask texture and a material. First, obtain a star-shaped mask texture from our Discord or another source and import it into your project. Next, create a material. Set the blend mode to masked to use the opacity mask. Then, create a spiral blur texture node, which adds a blur effect to the texture. Drag the imported texture into the material graph to create a texture sample node. Right-click on the texture sample node and convert it to a texture object node, then connect it to the spiral blur texture node. Preview the spiral blur texture node to see the blur effect applied to the texture. Hold down the S key and click to create a parameter node. Set the value as shown in the video to control the spread of the texture and connect it to the distance pin. Next, hold down the 1 key and click to create a constant node. Use these nodes to finally adjust the blur effect on the spiral blur texture node as shown in the video. To create an outline, create a sign node and connect it to the spiral blur texture node. This will give the texture a sine wave pattern, creating the outline. To use this as an opacity mask, create a power node and a parameter node, then connect them to the spiral blur texture node to add contrast. To prevent the outline from bleeding into other colors, connect a saturate node to the sign node to clamp the values between 0 and 1. To add color to the outline, create a multiply node, then hold down the 3 key and click to create a constant 3 vector node. Change the constant 3 vector node to a parameter so you can change the color in the instance and set it to your desired color. Use the Multiply node to combine the outline and color, then connect the Multiply node to the emissive color to create the outline. Next, to set the base color for the material, hold down the T key and click to create a Texture Sample node. Set the Texture object from the Spiral Blur Texture node to the Text pin of the Texture Sample node, so that the mask texture is applied to the texture sample. Similar to how the outline color was set, use a multiply node and a constant 3 vector node to set the base color. Now, let's make the outline color blink. Create a time node to get the time value. Use a multiply node and a parameter node to adjust the speed of the time. Next, create a sign node and connect it to the multiply node. Preview the sign node to see the material's brightness flicker due to the sign node. Hold down the A key and click to create an add node. Connect it to the sign node to shift the sine wave up ensuring there are no negative values. Connect a parameter node to the add node so you can set the minimum value of the sine wave in the instance. Create a multiply node and a parameter node, then connect them to the add node to adjust the brightness of the color. Finally, use a multiply node to combine the constant 3 vector node, which is set as the outline color, with the time nodes, making the outline blink at regular intervals. Next, 
Right-click on the material you've created in the content drawer to create a material instance. Then, in the Place Actor panel, place a plane mesh in the level. Adjust the size and orientation of the mesh in the Details panel of the plane mesh. Now, apply the material instance to the plane mesh in the level, then click on the instance to open the window and adjust the parameters to see the changes in the material.